So, like I said from the last video, I'm going to do an example with you guys. And I've already written here the data that we will need to to go through this example. So consider an economy that produces three goods, A, B, C. And you can pause the video to take a look at the data. I'm not going to explain it. Rather, I will just show you how the work is done. So remember, nominal GDP is our little y. And to calculate our uh, nominal GDP for year one, remember what we do is we take the given year prices and given year quantities and we times them together and we add them up separately. So we take we take the, the price for quantity uh, good A and the quantity for good A, we times them together, we times them together, four times five, and then we take the and then we add to uh, B, good B, the price of good B times the quantity of good B. And as you can guess, the price of good C and the quantity of good C for year one. So in total, we have 4 times 5 plus 10 times 4 plus 1 times 20, which, if you work it out, comes out to 80. Now remember that real GDP, or capital Y, uses the base, uses the base, uh, the base price. So we're using year one prices as the base price. So remember from our, uh, from our last, from our, from our last, uh, last past videos that real GDP is essentially the same thing as nominal GDP. Well, for the year. So for year one, real GDP would be the same as uh, the nominal GDP for year one. So we don't even have to calculate it. The real GDP, y1, is simply equal to li uh, little y1, which equals to 80. Same formula, right? Well, now that we're done that, we're going to go on to year two. And we're going to calculate the same way. So little y year 2, the nominal GDP of year 2, same deal. Take 6 times 5 plus 20 times 2 plus 2 times 10. And that works out to 90. And for real GDP, we can't do the same deal in year 1 because this is year 2 and the quantity changed. So then what we have to do is we have to calculate uh, a new. So then we take y2 and we take the price of year 1 times it by the quantity. So it's 4 times 5 plus 10 times 2. 10 times 2 plus 1 times 10. Last one, 1 times 10. 1 times 10. And that works out to a good 50. Now, I'm going to talk about uh, what I was, what I talked about in the past video, and that is the GDP deflator. I mentioned this in the past video. You might have forgotten, but then don't worry about it. Uh, this example would totally help uh, shake your memory and help you remember. So remember that our formula was price. Well, I'll just use the uh, the year. So we have price of the year one is equal to the nominal GDP equal to nominal GDP of year one, little year one over uh, over capital year, uh, year one times a hundred. So remember, that's our GDP deflator. P equals little y over big Y times 100. So for year one, where our little y is 80 and our capital Y is also 80, we take that and we times 100. And that will give us 100. It's really simple math. And for year two, the GDP deflator is, again, little y2 over big Y2 times 100, and that is 90 over 50 times 100. That'll work out to 180. 
Now, I'm going to talk about, lastly, the inflation rate. The inflation rate. And remember from our past video, let me make some space here. Uh, just making some space. Okay, we're good. So remember from our last video that the inflation rate pi is p nu minus p old over p old. Well, that's the same thing we're gonna do. So pi from one to two. So so uh, not writing. So pi from year one to two. What we're doing here is we're basically doing P2 minus P1 over P2 or over P1. And that'll give us 180 minus 100 over 100, which is 80%. Because that's a formula, right? And the inflation rate or pi is equal to the new price over the old price uh, minus the old price over the old price so we're just taking the new price which is p2 minus the old price p1 over the old price p1 now let's say for example that for example we have a p3 that is 225 well the pi the inflation rate of 2 to 3 would have to be equal to P3 minus P2 um, over P2, right? Simple. So 225 minus 180 and over 180. And that will equal to 45 over 180. And that will equal to 25%. And similarly, the pi or inflation rate from 1 to 3 is simply P3 minus P1 over P1, which is 225 minus 100 over 100, which is 125% inflation from year 1 to year 3. And that's where I'll leave it. Uh, please come back for the next video where we'll talk about GDP breakdown.